Hello guys, so welcome back again. This is your boy Adam Slink. Uh, good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. So we're going to be checking out uh, a little bit on uh, entertainment today. So we're going to deal with uh, an advice. In other words, actress, uh, of course, rendered an advice to David Doe on how to go about his current situation with uh, his fourth child being revealed and also with uh, him getting married to Choma. So apparently, Choma and David Doe are still very much together. It seems that they are working on their relationship. In fact, uh, David Doe recently posted pictures that suggested that he is still very much more in communication with uh, Choma, which is good for them though. Well, check out this advice coming from a popular Nigeria actress, Sonia. He, she said, who else is thinking what I'm thinking after seeing David Doe fought child? It's high time we pray for his marriage. My love for David Doe is, com is incomparable to another ends attack him. My best artist in the world, please, David, no more baby mama. If you won't settle with Chi, who we, who we have been praying for, we will be so happy for you to take your first love, Sophia. I don't know who advised Chi to join the baby mama table after the much love he showed publicly, which we all saw clearly how he was ready to marry her, not getting pregnant in the midst of that hot love, would have made them end up together by now. You know, when he the hot hot, I feel so bad for the situation each time they cross my mind. In all, a big correlation on the new addition. Well, she is advising if David Doe is not ready to move on with Choma, then David Doe should go back to his first love, Sophia Momodu. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, Sophia Momodu was ever David Doe's first love, honestly. David Doe was just starting life then, never really uh, seen a lot of uh, beautiful women. Then, uh, you know, the situation with David Doe and Sophia is just like a friendship base. They will ever remain friends. It's not going to stop. But uh, with Choma, I don't think David Doe and Choma can just be friends. He said that they are not friends or David Doe will wife Choma. So as long as David Doe is talking to Choma, then there's possibility that they might be arranging to get married, which is really, really nice for them. So if uh, he's going to listen to this advice, then go to fine. But people who are close, one person that is really close to David Doe and Choma said they are still very, very much together then now uh, let's move over to other uh, situation Thames was so carried away the other time when uh, she was on a live uh, chat with fans I think someone decided to hang her and she's she immediately shut down that person and this is what she said your voice no sweet your own voice no sweet you're mad <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why would they talk? Uh, they tell them say I've no sweet. Already know that Thames is uh, one of all those uh, female artists in Nigeria who have a uh, unique voice. You no, know? don't don't play with Thames. Thames uh, has surpassed uh, whiskey as the as I think they are on the same level now when it comes to their songs on Hot Billboard 100. You no know, Thames and whiskey are on the same level now it's not like on the same level when it comes to fame and money but that particular chat is she is seriously trying i don't think the terms has been to nigeria for a long time now she has been in usa touring in uk and there's something about this artist you know forget you know nigeria you know come from and now you don't see the life now you just want to be based there you don't want to come back to nigeria again if you ask them now, since when have you been to Nigeria? I bet you it's more than a year. I bet you it's more than a year. But it's hustling, hustling now. Sometimes you just have to move away from home to find, like to chase your dreams. And that's exactly what is happening again to Kriwi, who is signed to Mervyn Record. According to him, he said, left my parents' house back in 2017. Since then, I haven't gone back. 
it's not something I'm proud of, especially because it's just an hour, 30 minutes drive to my parents' house. But as a dream chaser where I be, I got to make sacrifices. It's not easy on me though. I miss them so much. Imagine your father's house is just by the corner and you haven't been there for, for years. He says since 2017. Since 2017, this guy, they also hope you never go to Papa. Like, Papa has been like one hour, 30 minutes away. No, that's not good enough. Hmm? That is not good enough, guy. No amount of dream. You, okay, you telling me that, that uh, he doesn't have time to go out with just guys without business, so, to just club, to just drink, to just do something. Guy, they don't train you well. Still, 2017, you have been in this country, you say you cannot even drive to your parents house since 2017 and this is 2022 and you are talking about it and you say you are not happy about it mm -hmm. guy you are not well trained if they train you well you will go no no let's be honest as long as you have time to chill to chill with girlfriend to chill with friends to just booze and enjoy themselves you cannot say you don't get time to just walk out go meet your dad now don't say i love dad i missed you what's up you know just to catch up no, 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 it's, I don't think, <laughs> that's, that's not an excuse, no matter the hustle. One hour, 30 minutes away drive, and you are telling me you cannot make it. Come on. Then, uh, I think these trying to compare celebrities, artists, is good for their business, so, but sometimes people just take it overboard. This guy said, unpopular opinion, honestly, has a better voice, singing voice and vocal range than Wandy Cole. Osley. Osley the trial, but I don't think so though. But Osley immediately responded and he said, very unpopular and a big cap. Learned everything from that man. Let's dead this narrative, please. Don't compare Osley and uh, Wandy Cole. You know, Wandy Cole is a legend, man. Uh, he tried. He did his best for the music entertainment industry and uh, he, he's inspired a lot of people and uh, he's still doing his best as we speak. But uh, also, let's see the try now. I know I like that he recent uh, music, that recent music that is uh, trendy on TikTok as well. I love it. He tried, he killed that song. But uh, as long as he himself is saying, Nobody should be comparing the two. I think it's very, very much understanding that you guys stop. Stop comparing him to Osley, yeah, to Wandiko. You don't want to cause trouble, man. You are trying to bring out issue from where there, there's no issue. And then let's talk about Cora Obidi's S Oz band, who just recently get together again with another Nigerian. <laughs> Another Nigeria, he was the one that revealed that is on he went on a date with another beautiful Nigeria girl. I don't know how this will go for Cora, but no matter how it be, Cora will get jealous. Because another Nigeria babe won't take your man. S O S, but she go jealous somehow. She go jealous somehow. But however, I know she's going to make a video saying that it's none of her business though, but she could jealous. I think Cora, we want her, his guy, Justin, to go for another, for a white lady. No black woman at all. I think she will want to remain the only black woman that has ever come to that guy's life. So I don't think she will be happy. If it's a white lady, Cora will be very, very okay with it. But for, for another black woman, I do not think Cora will be happy with that. Honestly, I don't think so. But let's see. So maybe, just maybe, she doesn't really give a damn about what happened. If, if Justin like, Mary would have never see before. You know, I'm just saying, though, maybe. But for me, I think Cora won't be really happy about Justin moving on with another Nigeria, a black woman. No, 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 no. I don't think so, that she will be really, really happy about that. Then to end this video, a sad one, guys. A 28 years old 
guy who was uh, slated to travel to Canada recently was killed by a drunk driver. Just imagine getting ready to travel and you just meet your untimely hand in the hands of a drunk driver. As a drunk driver uh, kills 28 years old said to relocate to Canada for his masters this, this month. To the family of one Omar Rege Jeffrey is taking justice after a drunk driver suspected to be a Yahoo boy knocked him to death in Bini Edo State. It was gathered that the yet to be identified drunk driver was on high speed when he hot when he hit the disease in the late hours on Tuesday, August 6. According to source, Jeffrey is 28 years old and he just got scholarship and admission to Canada to study for his master in engineering and was and was to travel on the 28th of this month. He was a very promising young man. He is a petroleum engineer, engineer graduate of the University of Benin. I just be, I just came back from East Association Conference of the uh, Society of Petroleum Engineers PEC in Lagos to prepare for his travel. The young, the Yahoo boy was arrested and taken to the police uh, station, but the police have refused to disclose his identity. They told the family of disease that he was moved to Adesua police station and this turned out to be a lie because the station said the boy had not been moved and that there was some foul play in the previous police station. This is what we, this is what we only talk about police stations, police in Nigeria. Something that doesn't affect you. It's not as if the police people are the ones that knock down a human being. So when you knock down a human being, you are still hiding that person's identity. Why? What is your business with that person? Your business is to arrest and transfer, investigate, then transfer the matter to the court. Not hiding a suspect. Why? Why? Why on heart? If, okay, if people say it's bribing and corruption, and people say, oh, police cannot be bribed. It's been, they are being bribed. That's why. How can somebody be so heartless when someone, when somebody's life, eh? someone lost his life and you can't be so heartless, still collecting bribe, still making it difficult for the victim's family? How can you be on high speed? You know, there's, there's this, there's this speed that can kill. There's this other speed that can kill. You can be driving like a, uh, under 40 or, or 50 and if you hit someone, there will not be much uh, much harm done. But if you are driving on the speed of 80, 90, 120, if you hit someone, that person is gone. Well, I don't understand why police are so, like, they are so unreasonable sometimes. Very, very, very unreasonable. You, do, you know, there's no need for you to safeguard anybody. But you are safeguarding it, making it look like you guys have involved, you guys have been bribed. Man, so I'm supposed to travel to Canada. Finally, finally, God answered him to Jackma. At the end of the day, you just end that person's life like that. Just like that, like wow. A bread, possibly a breadwinner. Thank you guys for watching. It's a boy again, Adam Slink. And, uh, Hope to catch you next time. Have a wonderful day and stay blessed. Bye.